Environmental NGO Rocha Ghana, together with other NGOs and individuals, have filed a notice of civil action against the government of Ghana over plans to exploit the Etiwa Range Forest. The notice filed at the Office of the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Gloria Kufu, is in pursuant of Section 10 of the State Proce Proceedings Act 1998, Act 555. Now, we are also told that the action intends to protect and safeguard the environment pursuant to the constitutional duty uh, imposed on us under the uh, Article 41 of the Constitution of Ghana, the 1992 Constitution, that is. And uh, we've been joined on Skype by Awula Sewa, who is part of the concerned Ghanaian uh, Pan-Africanists at, at home and uh, in the diaspora, who are asking that we need to protect the Itiwa Forest. And we want to find out from here, really, uh, why is it that we have mineral resources there that we wouldn't uh, want to give the permission for persons to mine it? Madam, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us, if you can hear us. If you can you hear me? And thank you very much for inviting me. It is um, not a question of not wanting the resources to be used. It's a question of protecting the environment. We all know that we have only one world, only one environment. And we know from... Um, analysis that have been done. A report has been done by A. Rocha, and it tells us that if we go ahead and mine in a forest reserve, a forest reserve, mm. we're going to commit ecocide. We're going to destroy the ecosystem. And in addition to that, we're going to destroy the source of water to over 5 million Ghanaians. I don't think it's worth mining there. Is, there it, is, it, mm, is it your understanding that the persons who actually want to do this mining have not considered all of these factors and probably gone through the right channel to preserve the parts that can be preserved, preserve the water bodies that can be preserved, but then also do responsible mining? Actually, you see, it, it's not possible. You cannot. If you know how mining or bauxite is going to be conducted. It is impossible. It is impossible to mine bauxite in the forest reserve mm. without endangering the environment, destroying already endangered species, and committing ecocide. And as I keep on stressing, the source of water to over 5 million people. There's no responsible way of doing this, which is not going to affect the environment. Mm. It's a mirage. It's not possible. So what are you seeking the Attorney General to do? Um, to do By law, before you can sue the government, you need to give notice, and that's what has been done. Okay. This decision hasn't been taken lightly. It is nobody's intention to sue the government. In fact, as you know, the President has asked us to be, um, what shall I say, active citizens. Mm. And as active citizens, we cannot stand idly by whilst the um, the we know that the mining is going to cause mm. ecocide and mm. is going to destroy the ecosystem. So we've had discussions. I mean, the lead organizers have done this and this decision has not been taken lightly. We have no other alternative. But I'm sure once the president realizes what is going on, right. he's a very intelligent man. He realized that there's absolutely no sense mm. in mining bauxite in a forest reserve. Mm. And I'm sure Atiwa will be taking off the places to mine bauxite. We're grateful that you made time to speak with us this evening and given some clarity to this uh, uh, very topical issue. Um, Madam Aula Sewa is a member concerned Ghanaians and Pan-Africanists and a member of the group seeking to protect the Etiwa forest. Uh, make sure that it is not harmed. Thank you very much once again.